Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, boys and girls, depending on where you are around the freaking world. And I hope everyone's having a blessed freaking day. It's tough times in COVID, you know, it's tough times in quarantine, but boy, we got to stay strong and look after our mental health. But with that being said, boys and girls, we are back again with another freaking video. And yes, we are covering learning to be fearless once again. Now, this one's going to be a quite an interesting video. But before we get into it, people, we are on the road to 9K subscribers, but at the same time, we need to get to 10K as soon as we can so we can drop that merch. You know what I mean? 10K equals merch. And at the same time, smash the like button, people. Comment throughout and also share the video at the end. But with that being said, let's get into Alex. Alex, Alex, Alex. Learning to be fearless. Yeah, that, that fearless word is something else. It really is something else. But um, today she uploaded a video, okay? And the video that she uploaded today, okay, boys and girls, was the one that was titled, as you can see at the bottom, okay? 2020 favorite, favorite, aka everything that got me through quarantine, okay? And you know why I wanted to speak in this video is because um, there's a video that I made. I think I, was, I think I believe it was the first video that I made on um, Alex. And I spoke about how a lot of her videos became consumed with sponsors upon sponsors upon sponsors. And only did they get consumed by, by sponsors in those videos, 90% of the videos was purely about the sponsor. It wasn't really about connecting with the fans about, you know, or the subscribers about whatever the video is supposed to be about. Hence the reason why she started to get, you know, a significant amount, a, a significant amount of dislikes on these videos. As I showed you previously, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out if you dig what I'm saying. Which brings me today, which brings me to where we are today. With this video itself in particular, boys and girls, okay, all I want to kind of touch on is um, 20 favorite things. Do you know what this video has in common with other videos? In fact, let me go back a step. This is 2020. Now, if we go to 2019, there's another one, beauty favorites of 2019, okay? Now, listen, they all have something in common, okay? Two of them have got exactly the same things in common. Some of them have just a little bit something else. Then we got favorites of 2019 February. So we're doing 2019 twice. Okay, okay, okay. And then on top of that as well, we've got favorites of 2018. And you know what, guys? I kind of stopped looking at the research then because that was enough for me to say what I needed to say. You know, I'm pretty sure if I backtrack even more, I would come across more stuff. And I'll tell you what they all have in common. Two of these videos are 100% sponsored. Okay, it's not a bad thing. Honestly, sponsors are not a bad thing. It really isn't. It really isn't. Do you know what I mean? But, 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 but. It's the way she goes about it. Now, with this video itself in particular here, this one is what this one is sponsored, and she even tells you who it's sponsored by. Okay, but we're gonna watch this video in a second, okay, and then we really get down to you know the sponsor and how things have gone about. You know what I mean? Now, the other thing that uh, this video also has is that this video is also sponsored by the same people, okay, Kenzie, I believe they are, and you know we'll get to that as well. But at the same time, now these other two videos, I tell you what they have. Is it two or three more videos I've got here? Two more videos that I have here. The things that these videos all have in common is that when you click on the description, and this is something that she does not disclose, does not disclose. Not when I've listened to her, I haven't come across this disclosure. And you know what is the thing? I've done, I've done my own fair pair, my own fair share of promotions before on my other channel. You know what I mean, okay? And um, one thing that I do know is that when it comes to a promotional kind of thing, anything that involves you kind of getting some dollar, some like that little money, you know. Usually when you're promoted in your page, it's usually like at the front, like, like you, you will tell people in the description that, by the way, this is what's going to be happening, right? That's what you generally would do. Not everyone does it, but it's cool. Now, obviously, when it comes to Alex, she's someone that, you know, has of lately, I've just kind of found to be someone that pretty much doesn't want to tell the truth. And most important, not only does she want to, not want to tell the truth, she's a bit like, you know, when you watch a TV advert, if you're in the UK, it's an advert. If you're in America, I think it's a commercial. And you know, when they're advertising something new, like, you know, I don't know. Let's say, for example, there's a, there's a TV advert and they're like, oh, there's this new wardrobe out and you can pay like a thousand pounds, but you don't have to pay for it straight away. You can do it on finance. But then on the screen, there's a little bit of right, right at the bottom that says terms and conditions subject to 20% APR or something stupid like that. You know how you see that things in commercials and adverts? This is the thing with Alex, you know, I feel like she's a bit, she, she's a definition of that a little bit because it seems to me that she always puts the most crucial information right at the end. Some links above, affiliate links, and I earn a small commission. This video is not sponsored. Now, this is this video that is not sponsored. But again, and you know how 
Let me just say something. You see how all of these things here, I know, listen, it's gonna, it's gonna feel like I'm nitpicking, but this is what I'm talking about. This is why I'm giving you the, 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 the comparison to an advert or commercial, right? All of these things are pretty much tied to well, capital letters, the whole show bang in your face. This one here, you saw in lower cases. And it's the last thing on the list, all right? Let me move down to the next one, okay? You know? Reasonably, it should done a bit different. Maybe this one she was feeling a bit lazy. I'm not too sure, okay? Let me go down to the bottom. We have the same message, okay? But this one is sponsored. Oh, sorry, that's a lie. Oh, there is, sorry, three of them are sponsored. My bad. This one is a video that's sponsored by Just Fab, okay? But as well as that, she still gets commission from Amazon. Again, lower case. Then we move on to the next one, okay, boys and girls. And you know, you, now you know why I felt like, do I really need to keep going back and back and back? Just, no, we don't. We don't. And I'm going to get to the point why I'm speaking so strongly about the situation itself in particular. Now, this one here is same as the one that I, this is the same as the one we've done, the one she's uploaded today or yesterday, whichever day it was. As you can see here, she talks about this video is sponsored by Kenzie. You know what I mean? Okay, same thing, same thing. Okay, everything, everything, everything. And then obviously we have the same thing from the most updated video as you go down at the bottom. Okay, disclosure, this video is sponsored by all thoughts and opinions on my own. Some of the da 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 da. I like the way she switched it up though. The way she switched it up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but all the thoughts are, are, are opinions of my own. And you know what? We want to talk about the thoughts and opinions of our own. Because that's where it gets a bit more suspect. And when I say it gets a bit more suspect, what I mean is that um, I may not have the proof itself in particular, but um, one thing that I have recently found out, DK, from, from, from sources is that Alex is notorious for promoting stuff that she hasn't even tried herself. She's notorious for, for, for promoting stuff that, uh, that, 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 not even the fact that she haven't tried them and stuff, but stuff that's not even a good quality. So when she promotes them in, the, in her videos, she talk about them in a highlight as you would, do you know what I mean? Why would you do that? But she talks about them in a way where, you know, it's giving us an impression that if you buy this product, it's going to do wonders for you. But then you buy the product and it doesn't. And one thing that I know about sponsors, you know, is that way before you take a sponsor on, before you take a sponsor on, okay, you make sure you know you can promote that product. You make sure you know you can use that product, okay? Like right now, you know, for example, there's a company reaching out to me from my other channel. They want me to promote this, this, this virtual, this, this, this game, you know? And I said, okay, cool, cool, cool. I gave them my rate and I was like, okay, cool. But uh, before we go through with it, I need to see the game. I need to test it out. I need to know if I can, if I can work with it. You know what I mean? If I can't, then I'm going to have to leave that to the side. You know what I mean? Because there's going to be more sponsors down the way. And listen, what's the point of being greedy when you know you're going to get more sponsors the more you go? Especially when you're someone like Alex. Bear in mind, I've only got, what, 42 on my other channel? She's got four, over 400k. So sponsors are coming to her left, right, and center. So why the urgency for her to keep taking these sponsors on? I don't understand. Does she really need that money? Is she, is she in debt or something? Is she paying for something that she can't afford? I don't know. But either way, the sponsor thing has to stop. She needs to stop being greedy by having a sponsor. Now, boys and girls, this is something else that we're going to talk about today, okay? So every year, okay, it seems to me she makes a video about 2020 favorites, 2019 favorites, 2018 favorites, or even February favorites at one point. I was like, wow, okay, we're even doing, okay. If they're your favorites, okay, you know what? Do you know what? If she's had alliances, alliances with them in the past and she knows she can still get commissioned, do you know what? I'm down with that. Put your links. It's not a problem. It really isn't. It really isn't. But you know what? When you listen to her talk about these products, though, it just doesn't feel genuine. It doesn't feel like there's a genuine product that she's used throughout that year. Now, this is when we're going to get down to this point here, boys and girls, where we're going to watch just the first thing. I think it's like the first five, six, maybe 10 minutes. I can't remember of this video. OK, and I just I, and there's a point I'm going to pause and that's the point I'm going to work on. Just, you know, there's, there's several points, but let's get it. Hey, guys, happy 2021. Happy. Welcome back to the first video of this year. One of my favorite videos to do every new year is to recap some of my favorites from that last year. And as we all know, 2020 I mean, yeah, it is. It is definitely a song of favorites, favorites to sell, which is fine. But boy, keep it real. Just keep it real. It was rough for all of us. And let's be real. I wasn't wearing makeup a lot of 2020. I don't know. So listen to that. She wasn't wearing makeup a lot of 2021, a lot of 2020. Just, just listen to that about you guys but i don't have a lot of makeup favorites here but i have a lot of beauty i have a lot of like ways that i made like my beauty regimen okay i mean listen i'm not an expert at makeup you know but she says she hasn't got a lot of makeup she hasn't got a lot she didn't say she didn't have any but then obviously as you go down boys and girls i'll just leave it there right now okay you you you, you boys and girls who use makeup you will know exactly what to look for in this list and you can tell me if she does if she doesn't have a lot of things for makeup or a lot of things for skincare whatnot because i mean listen i saw foundation right there concealer i mean i know those are kind of 
some form of makeup, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So it's interesting though, if you haven't really used any of this beer, why would you promote it then? You know what I mean? Because then you haven't got a, a clear definition of how good that product is. You know what I mean? Okay. You just know that you've used it maybe once or twice and you thought, oh yeah, it was okay. But like, why haven't you used it throughout the year? Do you know what I mean? To give people a fine indication. Considering the amount of promotions she has throughout the freaking year, you think that, you know, should use some of them for a certain amount of time to know by the end of the year, do you know what? These are the best ones. These are the ones that I want my viewers to watch. I mean, these are the ones that I want my viewers to actually buy because I know this stuff's going to look after them. But no, that's not what we're getting here. But let's continue from home. I have a lot of really random things that kept me busy and happy. So hopefully you guys will enjoy these and uh, get some use out of everything. I'll link all the products that I share down below. Uh, it's going to be a good one. So without further ado, let's hop on in. So let's go ahead and talk about beauty first. Also, can you guys tell I'm like obsessed with red lately? I want to talk about beauty products that changed the game for me doing all my regimens from home. So the first are these little razors here. These are such a game changer for your skin, like the peach fuzz, the dead skin. It really helps to brighten. It's basically like a simpler way to dermaplane from home. It helps all your serums absorb better. Your skin will just look brighter. I know it's a huge difference when I just shave the peach fuzz off of my face. It makes such a You know, difference. I mean, considering Alex is a big time YouTuber, it means she can afford to have like people to edit her videos and stuff. And if this product does what, she, what it says it does, I wonder why she hasn't got before and after pictures of throughout the year. I mean, it doesn't have to do that, but that would have been cool. It's just an idea. If she ever comes across this video, maybe when you do these yearly videos, maybe it'd be a good idea if you give us before and after pictures of, you know, how you've used certain products throughout the year because they've been that great for your skin. Do you know what I mean? That's just crit constructive criticism to her. Do you know what I mean? Just an idea. But yeah. And I have tried like the fancy version of this, the one that like vibrates, I think. It's like pretty expensive. This works just as well. So uh, these are great for cleaning up your eyebrows as well. Talking more about hair removal, Kenzie is sponsoring this portion of this video and I love Kenzie. Now, again, I have my own fair share experiences with sponsors, okay? And one thing that I regretted uh, is doing a sponsor that told me to make my intro. No, they told me to make the whole sponsor thing, the whole like promotion thing. And they said to me it had to be like up to like five minutes long. I was like, what? You want me to do five minutes? Five minutes? You want, you want my people to watch me for five minutes talking about a product? Like, are you okay? You know? And I think I ended up making it, um, I think I ended up making it between about three to four minutes, to be honest with you, do you know what I mean? Still annoyed with it because, as you know, boys and girls, at the beginning of the video, I don't waste no time in the intros. I just say what I got to say and then we start, you know what I mean? Because I know people are here for the content as well as anything else. But anyway, anyway, let's, this, 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 I've paused this video right now on two minutes and one second. Just know this. This is an IPL handset for laser hair removal at home. I have been working with them and using this product, I want to say for years. Now that we're in 2021, but it's been a hot minute and it has really helped to change the game for me. Ever since I went on Accutane a few years ago, I started growing dark hairs within my mustache. Like I always had peach fuzz. And of course, peach fuzz shows more when you have makeup on, but I was starting to get like a couple little black hairs. I don't know, I've heard that can happen. So I love using this. I have used it on my mustache. I keep up with my mustache now with this, um, but it's really cool because it can give you results in as fast as two to three weeks and then full results in 12 weeks. So now would be a great time to start doing laser hair removal, getting prepped for the summer. It will come. It doesn't feel like it in the dead of winter. Hold on a minute. I, it's, something just come to me just now. Oh wow, she's doing a whole video where she's actually showing I use it as well. Oh, is this, is this how we're going now? used to it and let me tell you i'm a baby when it comes to pain so it is absolutely so simple and easy to use as i said i have been testing this now for like the longest time and it's helped with my mustache so much uh summer's coming it's a great time like i said to get started on like your bikini line if you don't want to go out you can save a lot of money as well doing it from home because you know what so two minutes one second to four minutes and 53 seconds what's that what's that two minutes and 52 seconds okay Okay, okay, cool. Assuming the video is 28 minutes long. Okay, cool. Not, not too bad, not too bad at all. But you know, one thing that I've just kind of just discovered, which I should have done before, and I do apologize, is that in this previous video, she also sponsored the same product. And I, I'm now very invested to find out how she, did she promote exactly the same product? You know what I mean? What did she do differently? Okay, so it looks like if I look over here on this video, interestingly enough. Thing in the world, I'm gonna do a little clip here so you can see how it works. So on a freshly shaved area here, you guys can see, I just go ahead and turn it on with this button right. in the back. And that also controls my level of how intense I wanna go. So, so she's promoted the same thing twice. Okay, I've never seen that before. I mean, it's not a bad thing, you know what I mean? It's just that, uh. What would have been cooler is if this Kenzie company would have maybe given her an upgraded version for the following year rather than review the same thing. Because it's like, why, I mean, why would I want to review the same thing? I mean, listen, if it's like an end of 
end end of year thing with you whatever do you know what i mean okay i'll be like listen i know i know i promoted this one last year before but listen this i'm still using this to, to this day this is the bar you know what i mean but uh clearly it seems to me it must, not, it must not be the bomb if she's only promoting it only when she gets sponsored by it. you know what i mean listen man i just feel like sometimes when it comes to sponsors people let the money kind of you know take away from the take away from the connection that they built from the subscribers based on who they are you know what i mean when people subscribe to you they subscribe to you because they see something genuine in you do you know what i mean but the more you start to move away from your genuineness is the moment people start to think hold on a minute something just isn't right if you dig what i'm saying but at the end of the day, day, boys and girls, this is the moral of the whole situation here at hand, okay? Um, when I look at the situation here with Alex herself in particular, um, just based on just the sponsor malarkey stuff that's going on right here, it's not really cool because, you know, if she's making these videos at the end of the year, I think, like, she should make it very clear at the beginning of the video, and to be honest with you, that, listen, just so you know, guys, a lot of the products that I've got here, you know, if you buy them, I will be getting some commission during but she doesn't, she doesn't say that doesn't say that at all she only mentioned the sponsors that's it. if it's not the sponsor then she's keeping it on a hush hush just like the little print at the bottom of terms of condition when you watch a tv advert or a commercial you know what i mean and this is the biggest problem the genuineness for alex has died away the genuineness that she maybe had once upon a time isn't there anymore hence the reason why so many people are now turning their backs on this young lady end of the day i respect the hustle i really freaking do but at the same time your subscribers matter, matter more and your truth matters more and uh the things that i'm hearing about alex that's been uh, about the way she's behaved over the years is very very interesting but boys and girls we'll leave it there with this one for now i'll let you guys have your opinions down below okay and obviously everything that i had to tackle in this situation itself in particular okay because i feel like it was important for me to tackle this because if alex does come across this video i think the thing that i would like her to pick up from this video is that uh calm down on the sponsors like and and most importantly don't take every sponsor because it's money and also and also at the same time please promote products that you've actually used you know because if people are buying these products and you know it's not looking good and you know what to be honest with you boys and girls if we just quickly you know let me have a quick look at something i haven't looked at it yet i'm going to look at it now for the first time you know and if we could look quickly at alex as well if we look at her subscriber and not subscriber count at her um uh, view count okay, in the last what look at the last week the view count is not looking good. Listen, here's the thing, boys and girls. You know, as a YouTuber, don't get me wrong, having that amount of views is still a very good thing. You're still going to be getting paid a, a good amount of money. Let's not get it twisted, okay? Let's really not get it twisted. You know what I mean? But at the same time, when you're someone who's got over 400k subscribers, you know, those views are not looking promising, okay? It, it shows that the engagement that she used to have with her followers is no longer there. It shows that she's now being caught out by too many people. It shows that people are now starting to see through this transparent human being who's not being real with everyone else you know what i mean and to be fair i found out some very interesting information about her current husband as well from what i understand she was engaged to a guy before but then apparently so what happened was that the guy that she was engaged to he got um um something about someone on the internet kind of like uh trolled him or catfished him or something like that and then you know he responded in a way that basically insinuate that he was going to cheat on alex and alex made a video about it and in the video itself in particular um in the video that was made about it in particular she denies him ever cheating and all that kind of stuff but then the date she was meant to marry this guy she ended up marrying this new guy on that same date that is some funky stuff i mean just information like that itself is very suspect you know what i mean okay and i just think if alex has any chance of even bringing up her numbers ever again it's listen drop the act D drop the promos to drop the constant promos do less okay you know what I'm saying? Because, boy, these promos ain't always going to be here if her numbers are, are going to continue dropping. She needs to recognize that. And to be honest with you, you know, the more you start, the more money you earn sometimes, the more you start to pay for things out that you don't really need. And the more bills you start to do, you start to, you know, have when you don't really need them. And then what happens is, you know, you kind of get ahead of yourself. And then what happens is Alex is now having to rely on sponsors more than her views because the views that she has probably doesn't pay, does, probably doesn't pay for the lifestyle that she has. It's probably those sponsors. And that's why she's probably hell bent on them. But who, whose fault is that? You know what I mean? It's just insane that Amelie Reese still gets more, spawn, gets more views than her, you know? <laughs> and she has less more subscribers and way much more hate. Um, but listen, boys and girls, one thing that I do want to say is that I came across a video today as well. After I, after I done what I did, I came across this video here that I'm looking to potential react to as well. You know, it's called The Truth About Doctors and Fat Shaming, okay? This was obviously done last year. If you're someone that had watched this video before and you feel like, you know what, Maddie? I think you should cover this video as well. Let me know and I'll get that done for you, boys and girls. You know what I'm saying? I'll get it done for you. Don't you worry. I got you. Just let me know. But with that being said, people, 
let's hit that 10k i know we know i know we're not even in 9k yet but i know people in the live streams are always just saying magic we want the merch we want those donuts come on stop holding out on us listen we need to get the 10k for the merch to come out so once we get a 10k don't worry the merch will be there instantly without a doubt you know what i mean okay come on now let's not mess about but thank you so much for your time comment please down below and share the video and i'll see you next time have a good freaking day peace